right, man. So Troy Weaver spoke about the Detroit Pistons, and you know he said he would like to take he liked to take the big screen, he liked the long ball pause, and trying to make the splash in the NBA draft. Talked a little bit about Monty Williams being involved in the process, only only being here a few weeks, and him having some intel. Uh, talk about trading the pick, standing, drafting at the pick. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna say as many ums as he doing in the in the. Uh, in the press con, check out the trip and talk playlist, thumbs up the video, share the video, subscribe to the channel, and the subscribe button is the bell icon button. So he basically said that they like guys at five. It's the classic Detroit thing to do, cover all bases, and they comfortable drafting at five. You know, but also they open to trading the pick. Um I'm gonna talk in a separate video about trading the pick. You know the draft is Thursday. Um by the time you see this video, it should be Thursday. I I don't know if I do a live Wednesday, man. It's definitely gonna be a live post draft at least but uh but yeah man um you know all options open everybody been talking about trading ain't nobody been trading i i got more of an imagination or more of a belief excuse me that somebody gonna move up and somebody gonna move down uh that's simple i don't think a lot of big names gonna be moved i think a lot of guys gonna stay pit and draft um it's not a lot of value in, in drafting down i think it's a lot of value in drafting up I think the draft getting a bad rap. Uh, to be honest, man, I've seen a lot of players that I like in this draft just for watching them play in college, like Jay Howard. I love his game. Um, love Monty Bates' game. Um, I love Taylor Hendricks. He might be my favorite player in the draft, along with uh, Brandon Miller, Scoot Henderson. Uh, you know, we know Victor Walla Banana. But I, I love Taylor Hendricks' game, man. And I like the Tari Gibson. He reminds me of Tari Gibson. Um, last year, and Tari Gibson made All NBA third team on the Houston Rockets. Um, that's who I, I, I like. Cam Whitmore. I like kind of trying to get two picks, trying to get Hendricks and either Whitmore and Ashur Thompson. You know, everybody want these guys to be finished products, and they not gonna be finished products not right away. But Hendricks can step in right away, defend, shoot the ball well, and and, and give you multiple positional value. That's what I like about him. Um, you know, Cam Whitmore already got a man body. I think the jump shot is going to improve, can explode, can run, and that man body going to allow him to, to learn and defend the more physical wings, and that's what you need. And then Shore Thompson, you know, already a, a, a really good a defender. You don't hear that coming out the G League a lot. That's probably why they changed the D League to the G League because they know D in that league. Um, you know, just cat-like quick. I think the jump shot going to come along for him. I like him a lot. You know, I don't like Josh Walker, but I don't dislike him. I don't like him for the Pistons. But I like hard working guy, tweener, you know, grinder. But for me, it's Hendricks, Whitmore, Ashore Thompson. I love all three of them. Jet Howard, Amani Bates. Um, I like Anthony Black, but I like I Josh Walker, just not for the Pistons. Uh, I wouldn't mind if they tried to move up and get Brandon Miller. Love him. Love his game. Exactly what the Pistons is milling. So, missing. But, you know, people, you know. It's not that many intriguing names other than Victor Walla Banana and Scoot and, uh, and Brandon Miller. But, you know, they open a trade and a pick. And my thing is, you can't be trading it just to trade it. I don't want to give too much away from the video. But he also said that, you know, Monty Williams has been assisting in the process of, of, of drafting players. Um, he says that um, he just gave insight and they pretty much on the same accord. And like I said before, he's not going to tell you if he ain't. But he said basically they still got they got the same vantage point on the type of player that they want and the type of players that they need in this organization. So if they truly on the same on the same foot, that's great for them. Um, but he says he you know him and them in the front office has been they've been synchronizing you know through this whole thing and been in well unison um, in this whole process. So that's always good to hear. Um, that's always really good to hear. So. Um, but other than that, he said, you know, basically he want to make a splash. And sometimes you don't need a big, you don't need the three when you down one. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to highlight real dunk to win the game. Sometimes you just need to tip that bitch in. Excuse me, lay it, lay it in. <laughs> you know, and I, I kind of didn't really feel that comment. You know, you want to make a splash. You know what I'm saying? And at this point in this in this basketball team, you just need to make 
the right decision for the team. And if that's the, a splash or if that's, um, you know, just making the right decision, if that's finding a player that fit the system, that's, you know, and, you know, if that's what it is. And he also said that they still value in talent, you know, innate core values in a player. And, you know, they're not going to pretty much compromise on that. I mean, I'll talk about that at the end of the video. But, you know, he liked to make a splash, like the long ball. Like I said before, at this point, you already got the structure of the team laid down. Now, if you can make a splash and you can get, you know, a, a Damian Lillard-ish type player. I'm not saying Damian Lillard in general. If you can land that type of player, well, you're going to have to do it. But I was listening to Mike Valenti uh, Tuesday, and he just, oh, they should try Zion or do something. This, this draft is still, you don't listen to guys like Mike Valenti. Because nine times out of ten, Mike Valenti don't know shit about the draft. What ESPN tell you? You know, you oh, you just get Julius. Why would I get Julius? Why would I get Julius Randle, another dominant ball handler, to go with two other ball handlers and Ivy and K? If you throw Killian in there, all trying to figure it out, it makes no sense. You got to understand what this team needs, and if you're looking at it, the team needs guys that can simply shoot and defend. Defend. They need wings that can defend. They need wings that can shoot. Just because you're not a finished product shooting the ball, you can get better at shooting the ball. Cool. But Hendrick shooting 40% from three. Um, Cam Whitmore about, what, 35, 36? I, I like his, his, his shooting uh, form. I think he will continue to get better. And in short, Thompson, he has some really good shooting games. I think he can get – he's the better shooter of the two. Hey, man, Thompson's twin. He can shoot – I like their shooting potential. But one thing I like about all three is what they bring defensively. It's that's something that's you know, you you can teach defensive technique, but you can't teach te taking pride in playing defense. You can't teach that pride, and they all three of them got great defensive potential. And Hendricks is why he number one on my board out of the three because he can defend and he can shoot at a high level, and he give you multiple front line uh ability to defend across the front line and play across he plays some five you know get a little stronger in situations he played a four he played a three he can defend ones and twos for a second he's a, a big rangy long athletic guy that can shoot and defend that's what you're looking for now i don't need you to go out there and get your own bucket if you can do that that's a plus down the line but at the end of the day it's the best available talent that's that's that fit that that fit that mold if you can defend and you can shoot, then, hey, guess what? There's no if, ands, buts about it. Taylor Hendricks is probably going to be the best guy on the board. But if you're looking a little bit into the future, you could defend a little bit more, rebound a little bit more, you know, do some things, or you like, oh, he can be a better shooter, then it's, you know, with more sure Thompson. But this is my opinion on it, man. We'll see what they cook up. But it's good enough talent because uh, you already got guys that could be superstars and stuff. So it's good enough talent here. You just need the right guys to fit around them. But hey, check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance. Get notifications. We go live or drop a video. Um, hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, TikTok, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, all nine. Check out Detroit Piston Talk playlist for more videos like this. Peace.